Welcome back to learning analytics course. So, in the last video you have performed a diagnostic analytics such as why a student did not pass the exam or why the student was not able to answer certain questions. Uh, you collected the data such as uh, students performance also the attendance. Now, I want you to think uh, how will you predict the students performance in a future events. For example, uh, you found a correlation that uh, students attendance and performance as high correlation. Can you predict uh, what will happen in future? Um, please pause this video, write down your answers, after writing it down resume the video to continue. So, what is predictive analytics? So, it is predicting what will happen next. So, which course will have a less number of registrations? It can be predictions because based on the last few history historical data, we can predict what will happen in next year. Which students will not complete the course? Based on the students attendance or students other interaction behavior, you can predict whether the student can complete the course or not. And this again using the model which you created using the historical data. What will be the performance of the student in the next question? So, you can go much finer level like if he is interacting with the intelligent learning environment or technology enhanced learning environment. What will be the students next set of actions? Will the student be able to answer the next question correctly? All those finer level analysis we can do. So, prediction is done based on data from past events. Uh, in the sense, uh, if you are teaching a class in this year, you cannot predict uh, create a model using current data. Instead, you have to use the data from last 4 or 5 years car data. Like as I mentioned, you have last 5 years data. From that last historical data, you might be creating the model. Apply that model in this year. That is what it says that you have to create the model based on past events. Also in some cases we will use the present data also because you, that will help to uh, improve the algorithm to predict it better. Uh, it is most popular in uh, educational data mining, it is called learner modeling. We try to model the learner um, and also it is popular in learning analytics. There are lot of tools available for teachers and other stakeholders to perform the predictive analytics. However, we need to understand what algorithm to apply and uh, what data will suitable for it and you have to understand how to interpret the results when the algorithm gives. So, we will talk about Naibase, Dash Entry in this class and uh, the tools uh, like Orange and Reka uh, to use uh, these algorithms on education data. So, in short predictive analytics is extracts information from data sets in order to detain pattern and predict the future events. Uh, it uses both past and present data and offer prediction for the future. So, present data actually uh, so input variable uh, to the model and those uh, model predicts what will happen in the future given the present data. So, let us move on to the last activity of this week. Now that you are able to predict whether the learner will continue your course or drop it, assume that what measure will you take? to ensure your learners are motivated enough to continue a course and how. For example, um, assume that you have created a correlation between uh, attendance and performance and you know that learner uh, uh, correlation is high with attendance. Using that information you can predict whether the learner will drop the course or whether the learner will um, fail in the exams. If you have that prediction, what measures will you take in order to motivate the students and continue doing the course? Please pause this video, write down your answers. After writing it down, resume this video to continue. Prescriptive analytics um, is if you say that I want scaffold to students. Uh, give uh, hints or feedbacks uh, to help students to achieve the learning goal that can be one of the prescriptive analytics. Or you can use a personalized or intelligent learning environments where based on the students interaction and performance the system gives a feedbacks and hints and adapts the content. 
or you can predict the learner's current uh, state and provide feedback and help them achieve the learning goal. So, uh, you can have a special classes and you can talk to them what is the problem. It is not that a student uh, will fail or student will drop out. You want to understand why also why the student will um, uh, not able to complete the course. If you know why the reasons then you will be able to uh, provide a proper informed feedback or uh, adaptive content. So, the prescriptive analytics is a process of analyzing the data and providing uh, instant recommendation to how to optimize the learners uh, learning process. Example, uh, for example, in uh, instructor uh, can use a prescriptive analytics to discover that most of the learners needed a prerequisite course uh, before joining a newly launched advanced course. So, based on the previous uh, experience or based on the teaching experience you can so say that for the newly launched advanced course uh, given the learners um, entry exam you might need a prerequisite course. So, the teacher might conduct a test before learner taking the course based on the students performance a teacher can decide whether the learner needs a prerequisite or not. So, that is based on the teaching experience or the predictive model you have created. I want to inform you that uh, we saw the four types of analytics uh, in last couple of videos. So, it is uh, if we talk about prescriptive it subsumes predictive, diagnostic and uh, descriptive analytics which means if I doing a predictive analytics I should be doing the descriptive and diagnostic analytics also. It is not that I can pick and do only the predictive analytics or I can pick only do the prescriptive analytics. So, you can start always with the descriptive analytics then do the diagnostic analytics then go for the predictive analytics. In this course we will cover the three uh, types of analytics like descriptive, diagnostic and predictive. Prescriptive analytics is beyond uh, the scope of this course well because prescriptive analytics is designing a intelligent tutoring systems. So, in this video uh, we described what is predictive analytics and what is prescriptive analytics and you might have had some idea on that. Uh, we will in detail discuss about this two type of analytics in our course. Thank you.